possibly wish upon a star for more cash than they're currently drumming up from live-action fairy tales. And after Alice, Aurora, Cinderella, and soon Belle, the Mouse House plans to introduce us to live-action versions of Ariel and Mulan. Now you can click here to see how Disney could potentially cast Ariel, and there will be a link again at the end of this video. But right now, we're going to focus on Mulan. The original animated film has won over many fans by honoring Chinese culture, but also for depicting something not usually seen in a Disney princess movie, Soldiers at War. Plus, Mulan was unusually stylized for a Disney animated film, to a level perhaps not seen since Sleeping Beauty. It was also surprisingly cinematic. So considering the trend of making these live-action adaptations darker and more complex, imagine what would result by applying that filter to a live-action Mulan. Oh boy! Now to casting. I have two Asian-American actresses on this list, but neither are particularly well-known. Combine that with the potent box office numbers coming out of Asia, and it makes sense to cast an actress from that region. Western audiences will be introduced to a new face no matter what, so why not go with someone who will at least be recognized in the world's other biggest movie-going market? That only leaves a question of age. Mia Wasikowska, Lily James, and Emma Watson are all in their mid-twenties, while Elle Fanning is still a teenager. With that in mind, the Wolverine's Rila Fukushima might be a good pick. Fukushima has proven she's good with the sword not only in that film, but also on the CW's era where she portrays Katana. Plus, she's good at keeping a secret herself. Nobody can find out the Japanese model's age. But on that note, China's relations with Japan are not ideal, and Chinese audiences could be offended that a Japanese actress is portraying one of their most famous legends. Now, Mulan's story doesn't dictate that she be particularly young, and if Disney is willing to consider an actress in her 30s, they have some excellent options. Not to mention, in the original poem, Mulan fights in the army for 12 years, so an older actress would be able to better convey that passage of time. A great choice would be Zhang Zi, who first wowed audiences in Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. That franchise still carries some weight with audiences across the globe, making her perhaps the most recognizable option for Disney. But another Chinese actress quickly gaining global recognition is Fan Bingbing, who not only portrayed Blink in X-Men Days of Future Past, but also appeared in the Chinese cut of Iron Man 3. That means she already has a relationship with Disney. Then there's another Japanese actress to consider, Rinko Kikuchi. She's not only a major star in Japan, but was seen worldwide in Pacific Rim. She's also noteworthy as the first Japanese actress to be nominated for an Oscar in 50 years, with her work in Alejandro Inarritu's Babel back in 2006. Kikuchi is also currently on the indie radar for her starring role in Kumiku the Treasure Hunter, about a Japanese woman searching for the lost treasure from the film Fargo. Japanese model-turned-actress Tao Okamoto is also gaining some worldwide recognition, portraying Mariko in The Wolverine and Mercy Graves in the upcoming Batman v Superman. But would Disney really consider someone working for the competition? As for those Asian-American actresses I promised you, there's Katie Chang, perhaps best known for her role in Sofia Coppola's The Bling Ring. She's definitely the right age, but would Disney consider someone of mixed heritage and part Korean rather than part Chinese for a role that's, again, legendary in China? Then, if Gem and the Holograms is a big hit, Haley Kiyoko could pop up in Disney's radar. But here, too, Kiyoko's Asian ancestry is Japanese. And finally, I'm sure many of you are hoping to hear Jamie Chung's name, as she portrays Mulan on ABC's Once Upon a Time. That version of Mulan, who finds herself falling in love with Princess Aurora, aka Sleeping Beauty, has gained quite a cult following. So who do you think is the best choice to portray a live-action Mulan? And should Disney be as concerned with nationality as Asian audiences seem to be? Write your thoughts down below. I'm Grace Randolph, and this has been a Movie Bite. You can watch more, including who should be cast as Ariel, right now.